7-Eleven will be giving away great prices all summer long, including samples of 7-Eleven's oh, wow. new Slurpuccino, where cappuccino meets Slurpee. I don't know what's more amazing about this video, the awesome power of nature revealed in the towering vortex. Or the fact that the radio personality keeps babbling on about a Slurpuccino. <laughs> Because as amazing as a Slurpee and Cappuccino hybrid might be, these twisting storm columns can reach wind speeds of 318 miles per hour, 512 kilometers per hour, and measure miles across, scarring the earth and decimating homes and buildings in the process. In some parts of the world, these powerful storms are a regular occurrence. The United States alone experiences more than a thousand tornadoes a year, and the storms have been reported on every continent except Antarctica. But how do they work, right? There's more going on here than a mere house to witch delivery system. If you've ever watched a world whirlpool form in your bathtub or sink while draining the water, then you've witnessed the fundamentals of a tornado at work. A drain's whirlpool, also known as a vortex, forms because of the downdraft that the drain creates in the body of water. The downward flow of the water into the drain begins to rotate, and as the rotation speeds up, a vortex forms. Why does the water start rotating? Imagine yourself as a particle in the water suddenly pulled toward the suction that the drain creates. At first, you'd find yourself accelerating toward the drain. Then, quite literally, there's a twist. Because of your previous momentum and the number of other particles rushing towards the drain at the same time, chances are that you're going to be pushed off to one side of the point of suction when you arrive. That deflection sets you on a spiraling path into the point of suction, like a moth spiraling in toward a light. Once the spiral has started in one direction, it tends to influence all the other particles as they arrive. A very strong spiraling tendency is created. Eventually, there's enough spiraling energy to create a vortex. In a tornado, the same sort of thing happens as with our bathtub example, except with air instead of water. A great deal of the Earth's wind patterns are dictated by low pressure centers, which draw in cooler, high pressure air from the surrounding area. This airflow pushes the low pressure air up to higher altitudes, but then the air heats up and is pushed upward as well by the air behind it. The air pressure inside a tornado is as much as 10% lower than that of the surrounding air, causing that surrounding air to rush in even faster. The result is pure atmospheric power. Even a weak F0 twister on the Fujita scale can reach wind speeds of up to 72 miles per hour, 116 kilometers per hour which can rip shallow-rooted trees from the ground, damage signposts, traffic signals, and even chimneys. And a mighty F5? Well, with wind speeds up to 318 miles per hour, 512 kilometers per hour, that's when you see cars become projectiles, houses turn to splintered kindling, and even steel-reinforced concrete structures suffer some serious damage. So there you go, the power and the grandeur of a tornado explained. Now, for my part, I grew up in kind of a tornado alley, so I see footage like this, or I see anything in the sky even resembling a vortex and I start freaking out a little bit. But what about you guys and gals? What do you what do you think when you see these awesome clips? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos. Yeah.